Welcome back. Here in the Southwest, both humans and pets can be exposed to a fungus that's called valley fever. And when it comes to pets, what are the symptoms? Is it contagious? And can I still adopt an animal that is diagnosed with it? Well, let's get all the answers from Andrea Mitchell with the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. Welcome back. Thank you for having us. We know we always love when you're on because you bring us a super cute friend to play with. And um, this is Layla. Yep, we've got Layla here today. Sadly, Layla has been with us since March. And so we want to get her perfect face out there and let everyone know that Layla is a perfectly adorable, wonderful, adoptable pet. She's at the Humane Society and she's really looking for her forever home. I mean, she's she so loves sweet. her, the picture of herself in the monitor. I know, look at her, oh, she's yeah. staring herself down. <laughs> now, what do you think it is, Andrea, that are maybe making people hesitant to adopt this sweet, perfect dog? So, unfortunately, Layla is diagnosed with valley fever. Um, but that's the only thing, and that's what's keeping people away from her. And so we wanted to come today and let people know that dogs are still absolutely adoptable and the disease is manageable and um, it's all right if you see that on a pet's profile at the Humane Society. Well, let's learn more. Maybe that's, that's the speed bump we're running over. So what is valley fever? Valley fever is, the official name for it is coccidiodomycosis. It is a fungus that is found in the dirt of arid regions that are high temperature and low elevation. So we're talking pretty much all of the Southwest. So then what are the, some of the symptoms that we might see if maybe our dog has valley fever? Yeah, so if a dog contracts valley fever, you will find them being very lethargic, having a cough, just not feeling too great. They can, if they have valley fever for long periods of time, they can get lameness in their back legs. Um, they'll have a more severe cough. It's pretty much the same as when you get the flu. You just don't feel that good. You don't feel like eating. You don't feel like getting up and playing. Your, your joints are sore and you're just very sleepy. Um, and so that's one of the ways that you can, some signs that your dog might have gotten it. Now I know some people might say, I don't want to adopt a dog that has valley fever because I have other dogs and I don't want them to uh, get it through contagious. But I myself, I have valley fever. I know it is not contagious. Nope. Pets or humans. You have it, Layla has it, yep. we are not going to get it okay. from them. Um, your dog is not going to get it from being around you or Layla. It is 100% not contagious through people or dogs, any interactions like that. All of it comes from the dirt. All of the spores are in the dirt. That is, I'm so glad we're clearing this up today because I didn't even know that. So yeah. this is really good to know. Um, so when a dog is diagnosed with valley fever, what does that mean for the dog? Like what is their life going to look like? So if a dog is diagnosed with valley fever, it begins with the initial test, if your dog has those first symptoms. Then we do a simple blood test, and if it comes back positive, um, a high number of the spores in their lungs, then what happens is they get an antifungus treatment, um, an antibiotic. Leila. <laughs> there you go, baby. <laughs> an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. And treatments last normally 6 to 12 months. Uh, it's a daily treatment, which is not a very expensive medicine. It is completely manageable, and the dogs start to feel better. It's the same as if you, it's exactly how we said, if you had the flu. So it usually lasts 6 to 12 months, and the blood test will happen every 6 months. So after the scores get back down to low, low enough to where the dogs are considered healthy again, to have gotten rid of the disease, then you should keep on them on their medicine for a couple of months just to make sure it's totally out of their system. Now, is there any way to prevent this if we have a, a pet already and we don't want them to get valley fever? So if you have a pet already, the only way that you can 100% make sure that they don't get valley fever is to never let them go outside. And that's not very fun. The Humane Society does want to adopt to families who will have their pets in an indoor home because of the high temperatures in Arizona. But we still want dogs to be able to run and play and have a good time. And that, that's the only way that the dogs get it is from the dirt. So having a completely 100% indoor dog is the only way to prevent it completely. Well, Layla is absolutely wonderful, and I know you said during the commercial break that you guys have had a, a string of a lot of the pets that have been at the Humane Society for uh, an extended period of time going into new homes. So Layla, yes. I have a feeling, is going to be the next one that's going to get a home. So I'm yep. so glad that you chose to bring her. Yeah, we hope that today's Layla's day. It is. I can <laughs> feel that there's a home. Now, for more information about adopting a dog and keeping them healthy, you can call 321-3704 or log on to hssaz.org.